Hey, seventh graders. This is my second time trying to record this video. The first time my whole top half of my face was uh, cut off. So anyways, let me, um, first, before we get started, I want to do birthday shout outs. Um, Ashley had a birthday um, and so did Annie in the past week. And so we want to wish you girls a happy birthday. And then today is Nick in, from period two's um, birthday. So happy birthday, Nick. Um, and before I start talking about math, uh, you should know that Mrs. Stallions um, is offering virtual counseling. Uh, so I will post her Google Classroom code in our Google Classroom so you can access it if you feel like you need somebody to talk to. Um, and then as far as math goes, everything um, over the next few weeks until spring break is optional. Um, I don't think it's wise to not do anything related to math. Um, I would hate for you to lose some of those skills that we just learned um, or that you've learned throughout the year. Um, but again, I'm not requiring anything of you. I'm not grading anything. Um, it is just for your benefit. Everything that I posted in Google Classroom, totally just for your benefit. Um, so two things that I, the two things I posted in there that I think are important are Khan Academy and IXL. Uh, for Khan Academy, I went, you'll need to go in and set up an account. And then I have assigned um, some things to you. There's two-step equations and two-step inequalities. We just finished this unit. We never had a chance to take a quiz on it. Um, and these skills are extremely important for eighth grade math. So I'd highly recommend that you spend some time going through what is there in Khan Academy. You can uh, watch videos, practice, and take quizzes so I can actually see how you're doing. Um, and I'm still available to you, so you can um, email me or post in Google Classrooms any math-related questions that you have, and I can record a short video um, and post it for your benefit. If you're an accelerated Math 7, um, I posted some things in Khan Academy, and uh, I mostly focused on these skills. So I'm sure you guys remember these forms. Uh, to be eligible to move on to Accelerated Math 8, you need to have show proficiency in all three of these skills. The middle one, we haven't done yet. Um, so that's coming after spring break. But the bottom one and the top one here are skills that um, you need to be able to move on. So the things I posted in Khan Academy are related to those two skills. So you can get practice, you can take quizzes, you can watch videos um, just to help increase your proficiency level on that. And again, if you have questions, you can contact me through Google Classroom and I will do whatever I need to to help you. So I'll, I can record a video, I can respond to your question um, and make sure that you understand what you're doing. Again, not required, but recommended. Um, now, for IXL, um, you have an account for that. Uh, your login is your student number at Chilton MS and your password is your student number. Um, and IXL is great because you can go in and work on any skill that you feel like you need more practice on or that you just wanna stay fresh on. Um, I will post some, some codes in there um, related to some of the things we've done in the class recently that will help you. Um, for Math 7 students, you should be working on Math 7 skills. Uh, for, eight, for the accelerated 7 students, you can work on 7th grade or 8th grade skills. Um, and it can just be a time for you to just master things, master skills that maybe we haven't had a, enough practice in class with. Um, again, I will post some codes in there for you to, to give you some direction as well. Um, after spring break, if school closures continue, we're going to be continuing class virtually. Um, I've been previewing some lessons on Khan Academy that are great we also have IXL. So most of the teaching that I'm gonna be doing after spring break, if we are required to teach virtually, is through Khan Academy and IXL. And I won't leave you hanging. If there's something you're not understanding in Khan Academy, I will absolutely post supplementary videos for you if needed. So you're gonna to have to communicate with me and post in Google Classroom when there's something you don't understand or there's questions that you have. And if you're embarrassed about posting it in Google Classroom, you're gonna to need to email me so that I can assess or, or address your issues. Um, so after spring break, either we're gonna be continuing on in the classroom or virtually. Um, the, what we haven't covered yet 
which will be covered after spring break for Math 7, is angle relationships and statistics and probability. So two units that we're going to cover. Um, if you are in Accelerated Math 7, um, we're going to be working on systems of linear equations and probability and statistics. Um, so those are the things you can be expecting after spring break, either virtually or in class. Um, so nothing is required before spring break. Just encourage. After spring break, that's when you will be required to get some class work done, either in person or online. So let me know if you have any questions, comment below, um, and I would be happy to address them. And I'll keep periodically doing videos with some announcements um, and birthday shout outs. So take care, you guys. I hope you're enjoying your time at home with your family. Um, and just, just enjoy it because this is not the norm for uh, the school year. So, all right, take care. Bye.